<laughs> Tremble with wonder at the magnificence of my sorcery! Unbelievable! It's simple tea, but somehow it's shining with the colors of the rainbow! And the color's changing as it's being poured! How magical! Of course it's magical! I achieved it through magic! It's a spell of my own design, in fact! Impressed? Is this what you wish to show me? I must admit, I've never seen such a thing. Is it still potable? Is it still potable, she asks. Then I suppose you wouldn't mind taking the first sip. That was amusing, Constance, but out with it. What was that favor you wished to ask of me? It's a small thing regarding my house. I thought your highness might bend some slight effort towards seeing it restored from nothing. I had a feeling that was it. I wish I could help, but you must understand my present circumstances. Yes, yes, I'm aware. All the more reason for you to get in on the ground floor, as it were. My magical might is unrivaled, as I proved to you only moments ago. Surely you can see the obvious benefit in having the sorceress prodigy Constance at your beck and call. I agree that you are remarkable. That is beyond question. But how do you imagine Rainbow Tea will help me to achieve my aim? Uh, well, uh, just imagine the acclaim it will bring you at tea parties. It's a most worthy party trick, yes. But I have no use for such a thing. Well, well, it's not as if that's the only trick up my sleeve. That was merely a sample of my repertoire. I never cease my work in developing new magic. Your Highness is sure to find some of it useful. Constance, there's something important that I would like to talk with you about. Oh, have we not been discussing weighty matters all this time? It's regarding a truth that you and countless generations of House Nouvelle have occulted. Ah, that. If you ever feel like revealing all to me, I'd be happy to talk further. Until then, my apologies, but as the Imperial Princess, there's nothing I can do to help your cause. Please don't misunderstand. As your ally and friend, I'm happy to keep you company. However, you mustn't expect more from me than friendship or battle support. Of course. And now I shall make myself scarce. Good day. You've got a look of resolve on your face, Constance. Have you come to a decision? Quite so. I never waver for long, you know. I can read the signs as well as anyone. Things are in flux. I mustn't remain shackled by the past. I am ready to enlighten you regarding the secret that House Nouvelle has kept for generations. You have my gratitude. You will be rewarded for taking such a drastic measure. To be clear, this is about your crest, correct? Your instincts are sharp. According to the Empire's records, I bear the major crest of Macule. But those records are mistaken. In point of fact, the crest that I bear is... The major crest of Noah, one of the lost saints. That bloodline was believed to have died out. No one, not even the Imperial nobility, bears that crest. How then did you come by that bloodline? And how did you manage to thwart the Empire's investigations into the matter. All of the answers you seek are tied to House Nouvelle's origins. Close to a thousand years ago, Saint Noah parted ways with Saint Saros. She lived out her days in seclusion on what would become Nouvelle territory. Her children obscured their origins before serving the Empire. It wasn't long before they were ennobled. I suspect Saint Noah feared that revealing her crest would only lead to tragedy. So she passed it off as the Crest of Macuel, which already existed within the Empire. Yes, much like Saint Macuel, Saint Noah was known to be a masterful mage. Her magic ensured that any test would not reveal the true nature of her crest. Otherwise, someone may have exploited our bloodline long ago. Hmm. House Nouvelle was known for producing as few heirs as possible. It was also known for keeping its offspring pure mostly by disallowing marriage with other houses. 
All of that effort was in order to conceal Noah's bloodline, wasn't it? Yes, but it was a factor in our house's ultimate downfall. Our priorities were, perhaps, not what they ought to have been. In sidestepping the internal strife within the Empire, we left ourselves open to the external threat posed by Dagda. With stronger blood ties to other houses, we might have had allies in our time of greatest need. Interesting. I always had the inkling that the six noble houses were eager to see House Nouvelle fall. Thank you for trusting me with this, Constance. I swear that once I ascend the throne, I will do all I can to help you revive your fallen house. <laughs> your Majesty, might I have a moment of your time? Yes, of course. Unless... You're not planning yet another magical exhibition, are you? Knowing you, it seems a safe bet. I can't imagine what else it could be. I already promised to help you revive House Nouvelle. If our campaign continues as it has, we'll soon prevail. There's no need to keep inventing spells. I don't doubt that your majesty has things well in hand when it comes to the war. Yet why should I allow that to deter me from achieving my ultimate satisfaction? As the scion of Proud House Nouvelle, I shall bring about my grand achievement before my house is restored. On that, you may rely. You have a strong will and a strong mind. You do not consider yourself above concerted effort, either. Even during wartime, you trust your own ability to fight and survive. You're ever focused on the future and on the actions necessary to realize it. Where is this coming from? If there's an angle to be played with this praise, it eludes me. <laughs> I was only speaking the truth. I find your efforts to be admirable. Hmm, your words are sweet. And yet... Yes? Please, go on. Forgive me, your majesty, but you promised that House Nouvelle would be restored. Yet you work toward a future with no place for the noble houses of old. Granted, in your unified Fodlin, the acting lord for each territory will come from noble stock. But in the long term, your system will replace the nobility. Our role will change significantly. That's exactly right. There will no longer be lords who inherently rule over a particular territory. Instead, nobles will act as government officials, working for the people in exchange for a salary. Officials will be selected from the general populace as well, bringing an end to the very concept of social standing. All will rise and fall by their own merits. And it is for those reasons that I continue my magical research. Even if nobility ceases to exist as a concept, the meritorious spellcraft displayed by House Nouvelle shall make us a household name. Hmm, I must admit your words strike a chord. I find myself oddly moved by your proclamation. So you see, your majesty, the fortunes of my house dovetail nicely with your plans. The road on which you stride courageously forward leads to my own bright future. I too believe that the future you wish for can be found at the end of this path we're cutting. Splendid! Oh, amid all this talk, I neglected to present my demonstration. Sit back as I, Constance Von Nouvelle, display the never-duplicated Nouvelle style of spellcraft. Uh, about that. Another time, yes? I have much to do elsewhere. No, wait! There's no time like the present! Why, it shan't take more than an hour or two. <laughs> Shh.